Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokolora and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as Tlalocan in Hearts of Iron 4's Old World Blues with our Mexican daddy, Tlaloc Dine. He only has 956 out of 24, 2048 data banks. Daddy is not doing so well, my friends. But, with every death there... Sometimes is a rebirth, and uh, this rebirth we're thinking about is, uh, mm -mm, Mr. Bumbling Politician Maximiliano. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I did complain, I guess I didn't really complain that much about Maximilian last time, but I said, why does the Maximilian get too much love? You know? Why not? Well, someone did say that, and I'm still not going to do annexing decrepit defenses, because I don't want to hurt uh, Petro Chico. But someone said, why don't you try and increase the amount of support for the intellectuals. Actually, we do already get that, huh? Ooh. Ruler support goes down every day. That's why intellectual is going up higher and higher. So, that's a very good observation, my friend, that we could do. And apparently my cat, Binky, is outside my door complaining that he wants to be in, but I'm saying no right now because we have other people home. Anyways, uh... This helps democracy, and the, that puts factories in places we don't want it. Food drives for the poor. That's still for more people support. I really just need more intellectual support. So, I really don't need more political power, and I don't want to lose my civilian factories, but I'm, I'm willing to try this and see what happens. So, now we got plus point zero three daily political power for now. Um, yeah, so we get 1.27 political power a day, which isn't bad. I guess we could use that to speed up some more scavenging for equipment but I want to talk about my division so right now we have infantry we got some light robots and we eventually will make some heavy robots but definitely not anytime soon so when we split up into different countries basically for ourselves Maximilian against um, Zapata versus Montezuma or Moctezuma however you pronounce that but, uh, yeah, I don't want to give my my potential enemies an advantage, so I'm going to keep these divisions at 16 combat width. That's not terrible, but when we split off, I'm definitely going to make these 20 combat width divisions with some support equipment that we already have, which, of course, will be divided into thirds when we split apart. So I'm going to keep it like this so that, you know, if anything happens right now, if we end up in some sort of major war, which I don't think we will, but you never know. So that we are prepared just in case. And when the time comes where I have to kill my electronic brothers off, so be it. And I will, of course, increase the size of <coughs> my infantry divisions. As well as my robots, which is only 14 combat width. Robots, I'm going to rely very heavily on robots. I'm going to treat it kind of like power armor. Unless I actually fight power armor, then I'll just use my infantry. But other than that, that's pretty much my plan. Ooh. Nueve Atlan declared one La Costa Cafe Cafeanda Cafeinada Cafeinada That's spelled correctly, I think, yeah. Cool, because last night I was trying uh, to play as the Chichen Itza. So it was going okay, didn't do very much. I was trying to increase the combat with divisions of these guys in down here in this part of Mexico for Chichen Itza, but uh yeah, it it was okay. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. I still need to go play through it some more because I know we're supposed to be in a war, they're supposed to be in a war with Nueva Atlan, who is now at war with Costa Cafe Nada. Cafe Nada. Obviously, they make a lot of coffee down there. Ah, he's got a cup of Baron Garcia Joe. Huh. Born as a result of an unlikely couple, a U.S. Army conscript from Guam and a refugee from Nicaragua, the famous Baron grew up in the uncertain post-war war wasteland of the 2080s. He was witness to atrocities better left forgotten, seeing firsthand just how far removed from compassion humanity can be. He watched empires rise and fall, and after becoming immortal, decided to start his very own. Uh, hardened by almost two centuries of existence and knowing nothing but the wasteland, there goes uh, Tohono Nations, he forges his own caffeine-laced path into the future without regard for petty moral quandaries. While fools create public projects, or no, while trying to crown themselves, Garcia alone sits at another's table willingly, for he knows the truth. Emperors, presidents, and revolutionaries all bend the knee to wealth. He's not necessarily wrong. Money speaks loudly. And you know what? We could all use a little bit more money in our lives. Ooh, we actually don't have seven more days left for company speeches. 
That's all we could come up with? A few days worth of speeches? Wow. Oh, man, look at our stability. Oh, my goodness. Daddy, please don't leave. Oh, but if you can't tell, I am doing better, I guess, processing through the events of last week, so. Um, cap and growth isn't bad. That's always good to do. More monthly population, uh, recruitable population factor is not bad either. Conversion energy speed bonus. We're doing a land doctrine still. Specialized doctrine, specialized warfare. That's not bad to do. I don't think I really need this right now. Ooh, naval warfare. Chance to receive critical hit. Nice. Safe munitions stowage. Infant oh, infantry stuff. That will be interesting. I think we currently use pipe guns. I'm going to keep on that. I'm probably going to switch over to advanced energy weaponry. Yeah, this is where it used to end, but we... I don't remember this, actually. I know we won't get down here eventually, but the one on the right is energy weapon. The one on the left is ballistic weapon. So this has same defense, same soft attack, same uh, attack. This, the ballistic weaponry is slightly more reliable and slightly cheaper to produce, but has slightly less piercing, less heart attack, but more breakthrough. Huh. Same soft attack. But more breakthrough. I love the breakthrough. You must have more breakthrough. Usually I'd go with energy weapons, but I might go ballistics this time. Because I want as much breakthrough as possible. I'm not looking into using regular infantry equipment to pierce enemies' armor. And I always make anti-tank for that. So I actually might just keep staying on with uh, basic weaponry. Actually, what is this? Breakthrough is okay. Reliability is pretty good. Production cost is very good. Defense. So, uh, this is pretty good as well. This is pretty good. Compared to the ballistic weaponry. Oh, this has just way more defense. A little bit more soft attack. I don't think we'll really get to the one on the right. This has no air attack either. Slightly more reliable. Obviously, this one, the one on the left is cheaper to produce. This one has quite a bit more heart attack and more breakthrough. So, I love powered weaponry, but I'm going to go with basic weaponry. That would be important for us. And let's keep the show on the road. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to annex decrepit defenses. That I don't want to hurt Petro Chico. Oh, uh, ooh, resource production, nice. I guess that helps us, us helps us out a little bit, but we really don't need that too much. Um, I'll get more monthly population now, cause why not? Why not? Anything else for democracy? Daily elite support. Hmm. Army experience gain wouldn't be bad, but I'm like I said, I'm not gonna really switch things up too much. Scavenge order what attack. Well, we'll do that again anyways, because we have the political power for it. You know, I don't mind maybe making a few arms factories, or even some... Maybe civilian workshops wouldn't be the worst thing to make. Just because, with civilian workshops, it doesn't really add too much, except the capability or the potential to build more military goods and stuff like that. So, actually, that might not be bad to make civilian stuff. I mean, in the end, I want to be able to use it. And right now I can use it, and in the future, the short term, I won't be able to use it, but in the very long term, I will be able to. Just very many thoughts processing through my head. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're not even working on a single one of these. Do that. Reconciliation Awareness Workshops. Very good. Organizing the people, which will make us more technocratic, gives us a little more po political power, monthly population, and a change towards technocracy. Oh, we need to make some of these. Yes, please. Um, you can probably take that off. Get get it up to two to do that. Oh, we also want, want to make a few triplanes. Cool. So, yeah, that's good. That's not bad. How long will this take? Until, oh, if, about a week. Each one of these is about a week to, like, put on one more gun on these naval ships, which, like I said before, won't even really matter by the time we're done with this. So, uh, let's see. Ooh, another infantry division. Are you down? Yes, you're down here. Six in combat with, in the end... I want to throw on quite a few support companies. Because if I'm going to use these guys, I'm really going to use them very well. So I probably will put on... Fire teams don't look very good right now, to be honest with you. They're good for hills, plains, marshes, and deserts for attack and defense. But... Recon, I definitely will do that. That just... Actually, that looks like mostly just bonuses now. When I saw it earlier, like last episode, it said it actually hurt your soft attack and heart attack, but it doesn't look like it. It does hurt your organization a little bit, but that's worth it, in my opinion. Uh, logistics, I'll definitely do logistics as well. Cams, definitely do cams, just because that's really good for manpower. Fire teams, I probably will do it in the end, but I'm not really sure. And, obviously, I'm going to need some anti-tank as well. So, 
But we're building a lot of divisions. Holy cow. We're building a lot of divisions. This actually might come back and bite us in the butt in the future. So we got to be a little bit careful. Western Brother declared war on Arroyo. Cool. Let you guys go ahead and train up. Uh, the last campaign, when I played as the Enclave, <clears throat> the Western Brotherhood didn't do very well against Arroyo. Which is kind of surprising, and I'm looking around for my water bottle. I guess I don't have it. All I have is coffee. Alright, well, whatever. Hmm, ah, just cool enough for me to drink, and it looks like the Western Brotherhood has actually invaded Navely and actually took a freaking port, even though Arroyo did push in a little bit down here. Fighting through hills and mountains, just... Always, always a bad idea. Ooh, military fitness stuff. No, no, no. I want company speeches. Uh, how many civilian... Fa oh, we got plenty of civilian factors. Oh, give, give me that. Give me those uh, speeches. Yeah, more daily intellectual support. Yes, please. And hopefully with this organizing the people focus, we actually get another uh, little decision we can do to make us a little bit more intellectual. That would be great. Aircraft designer. I mean, we have it. I guess I could use it now. It's only 50... Political power. It's not like I'm going to use the political power for a lot of things. Oh boy! Someone just got cut off here. Oh, that's that's nasty. Ah, oh, Binky's continuing to complain. He's he's an animal that it was I think abandoned at birth with his brothers and sisters, but he's very sensitive. Ooh, the final quarter. Ooh, I like this. Oh, happy 2278. So yeah. Oh, oh the Western Brotherhood is sticking its little yaya -ya into here. Oh my goodness. This is not safe for work. Bink. Bink. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Even if I try to open the door, Binky is just going to complain that, oh, I went in, and then five minutes later, or 30 seconds later, he's going to be like, nope. Don't want to. I don't want to stay inside here with you. Oh, oh, they linked up. That's pretty much going to probably be the end for Arroyo. Irrigation, very nice. Ooh, Brahmin herding? No. Industrial, uh, industrial fertilizer. Land doctrine, still. Going strong. Anything we can do for robotics, since we are very robotics-oriented. More soft attack. Uh, support equipment. Alright, so this is a deal about support equipment for me, for at least these machine guns. We got the one... The bottom one is definitely something. Heavy rapid capacitor weapon, which is more... Oh, Tesla. Oh my gosh, Tesla cannons. So let's compare the final ones here. So we can either choose a minigun or a Tesla cannon. Now, playing as the Enclave, obviously you want to go as a Tesla cannon. But we're playing as... The dying Mexican daddy. So they both have 10 defense. The Tesla cannon actually has less soft attack, same air attack, less reliability, same cost to produce, double the piercing. Now that's interesting. More heart attack and same breakthrough. So I can trade piercing for soft attack. Now this is 26 soft attack. That's not a lot more than this soft attack. But how often are you going to be fighting things that you need to pierce? But really, when you're using mini guns, you're using them for defense. And having piercing, I think, would uh, might be better to have. I, I want to go with Tesla cannons just because it gives you piercing and you can feel a little bit more good about if you're fighting anyone with armor, like as any against any Brotherhood, like the Washington Brotherhood or the Western Brotherhood. But, oh, the, I don't know if I'm going to fight them in the end. Uh, before we move on, before I choose something... Let's take a look at missile launchers. Their piercing is Jesus Christ 75. And this already, the minigun gives us some piercing as well. I'm going to go with the LMG. Because who else uses ar power armor? There's no enclave in this playthrough so far, at least. Uh, the Western Brotherhood, Washington Brotherhood, which is getting a little scary, but their divisions aren't as strong usually as the Western Brotherhoods. But other than that, I'm, I'm sure some other countries can use power armor, but they're just... The Brotherhood, the Brotherhood nations, are the most powerful when it comes to employing um, power armor. Jesus Christ, Bink. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh, you actually add two building slots in Liniers. Way more popularity of technocracy and a lot more manpower. That's not bad. Oh my good. I, I'll be right back, guys. Binky, Bing Bing, are you okay? Binky, you're so loud. Come on, come on, Bing Bing, come on. Yeah? Yeah? Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Bing Bing. Yeah, oh, Bing Bing. He's a big old boy here. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's just... Yeah, no, Bing Bing. Right here. Bing Bing, right here. Yeah? Bing Bing? Yeah. Bing Bing. And he's probably going to leave in about five minutes, so I apologize for that. I know people don't exactly like it when Binky barges into my room or demands attention, but, you know, 
Everyone needs some attention, right? And that's why I set up my Discord. Wow, that's one heck of a way of a transition. Now, I'm still learning Discord, I'll be honest with you. I don't know a lot about Discord. I'm learning it, trying to set it up to be fairly, you know, consistent and good enough. So, hey, if you need attention or you want to tell me what you, what you guys are up to or anything like that, join me down in Discord and tell me about your day. I will probably be available and listen to whatever you have to say. Maybe except for politics, but even then, politics is a dirty game and Binky loves attention. I don't know where I was going with that, but it's just Binky's literally sitting here on my left. And, uh, yeah, Bink, you okay? Yeah, take a nap. Come on, Bink, take a nap. All right, anyways, uh, we get, we gotta get keep time going on. We're already halfway through this video, anyways, and it looks like Nueva Atlan is not is doing pretty well against the Costa Cafeanada. Ah, I wonder if my coffee's from there. Probably not, but it'd be interesting. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised these nations haven't killed each other off yet. The Chichen Itza and the Nueva Atlan, but then again, really for the Chich Chichen Itza. To, for your focus tree, the way I screwed this up is because I don't have enough infantry equipment for to go all the way down the focus tree, so I was actually kind of stuck, which made it kind of uninteresting, but whatever. I just want to make sure my divisions divisions are okay. Ooh, combat, sim combat simulations. Just, just like the simulations. Oh my goodness. Basic weaponry. Love it. Cool. So, Spinky, come on. You think you like my bed? Anyways, he's, he's a funny animal. Anyways, we need to think about Wasteland Autonomy versus Direct Control. So, for Wasteland Autonomy, you get more attention, growth, base, output, which sounds nice. It doesn't help you in combat. You get Networked AI, which gives you a little bit more organization, which is okay. And Internal Replicators, which gives you more hardness, armor, recovery rate, and, well, at least for your robots, more recovery rate, hardness. You use less supply and plus 10% more armor, right, BB? Yeah. Now Binky has set on my right side here, as he's just kind of enjoying his time. However, on the right for direct control, we can do war games, which lowers robots' defense, but gives us more soft attack and hard attack. We can do human commanders, which gives us less, even further less defense, but gives us more breakthrough, soft attack, and hard attack for all robots, even though technically the robot's defense doesn't change because the army in general gets more defense, but it does lose breakthrough, except that the robots do not. And then... We have Age of the Machine, which gives us more breakthrough, soft stack, and hard attack. So really, for defense, we lose 10% defense for robots, all right? And then we lose 5% breakthrough for the army, which is not good, but the robots get, get even more breakthrough. Now, I've never really gone down this uh, focus this focus tree, this, you know, this land doctrine before, this on the left is good for armor and less supply use, which will be very handy for us in the future. Or we go on the right, where we get less defense, but we focus more and more on the attack. Less defense, more attack. I really don't like losing breakthrough, because breakthrough is very, very important in my personal opinion. Mm, we lose a little bit of defense and a little bit of breakthrough for robots to do very well. Or... Or we don't get too many debuffs. I don't like debuffs, I'll be honest with you. And because of that, I'm going to go down the left side for Wasteland Autonomy. Now, we don't get too many more combat modifiers that will actually help us out with that stuff, but whatever. That should be okay. More defense, that sounds good to me. Alright, let's keep going, I spent way too long on that. Basic weaponry, nice. Alright. Alright, and I'm sorry if you hear something, my sister is actually home. Cool. Uh, no, you guys come down here. Oh, you guys have trained so well, so long and hard. How experienced are you all going to be killing each other someday? Right, Bing Bink? Ah, uh, what a good kitty. Right, Bing Bink? Yeah, Bing Bink. Well, Binky. Actually, probably when I hit a thousand subscribers, I will show you Binky like I did for Mocha when he was still around. Um, yeah, I'll probably do that for you guys. Show you how I wake up every day with... An animal by my side. So anyways, the final quarter. The time has come to die. Well, I hope we're not dying yet. We got still got 35% memory. But it would be inefficient for two for such a small inconvenience as death to disrupt the continued prosperity of Mexico. Preparations for disvestment must be made to ensure a stable and peaceful transition of power. But first, an executive decision must be made on the proper recipients of our gifts. 
let us gift only grant or grab grant gifts to those we can trust. All of Mexico prosperity must be ensured, and we can afford to be generous on our deathbed. Well, let's make sure no one's really pissed off at us until we take them over. So, ooh, does this actually have later implications? Hmm. Preemptive compliance actuators. Employ concessions. Ooh, actually, we might want that. We'll do that a little bit later. Gift of stability. Fully independent. Fully independent. Fully independent. Gift of resources. Gift of knowledge. I'll do gift of knowledge. Well, let's make sure all of Mexico is good. Because in the end, we do want all of Mexico under us. With us. Living with us. As I drink more coffee. Delicious. Cool. Um, ooh. And they were annexed. Ooh, that is not good for us. Grant noble promotions. Building slots, manpower, technocracy. No one's going to complain about that, right? I doubt it. You know. We're only 38% uh, popular support. Actually, that's combat cell usage goes down by 50%. Now, the minus red 50%. Does that actually mean it's good? Because if it's red plus, that hurts you. So if it's red negative, does that hurt you or not? I don't know. I don't think it does. I think that's a, that's a positive. Could be wrong. But whatever. Alright. We just need some more support robots, which will help us out. I have a, quite a few combat robots, but I'll save those for later. Uh, infantry command. I mean, we're, we're good on everything. We're just kind of sitting here waiting for death to take us. Ooh, and Kaiser's Legion is walloping that cowboy country. After the cowboy country killed Tohono Nation. And that NCR is looking pretty thick. All the way down from Baja, Mexico, which we will take one day. All the way up to the territory close to... Nevada or something up, up here. I think this is Oregon or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Robatos. My Robatos. 19 deads. Grant noble permission. So we get more manpower up here. Wait, Linares. Where was that? Oh, Linares. Linares? Is it Linares? Linares? Linares. I want to say Linares. I'm, I don't speak Spanish. Ah, oh, pretty good. Love coffee. But let's take a quick look. So right now, we're trying to finish up some of these civilian factories across the nation, which will be fine for us. We're fine for everybody, really. But I really want to make sure that we make sure that we are fully taken care of. And if that's the case, I want to make sure everything up here is, has more than enough supply up here when we go to war. Which we will be in a war probably in about two years. From my estimations. I know I don't I haven't gone that far into this mod, but we'll see what happens. Soft attack. Or we get soft attack, heart attack, and piercing. Well, I did want more soft attack in general. So heart attack and piercing, that's okay. Do I want to be more well rounded? Or just flat out more soft attack? Just give me that soft attack. Just I'm gonna pump myself full of so much soft attack, it's not even gonna be funny. I want to use it like a stim pack. Just load me up whenever you can. Or cams. Or buff. Or psycho. Psycho buff. God, it's been a while since I've played a Fallout game. It's been like a month since I've played a Fallout game. <laughs> well, actually, no, that's a lie. It's been like a week. I played Fallout 76 with some of my friends. Fallout 76 is, is an okay game. It's alright. If you have friends to play with, it's not bad. But if you're playing it solo, it's not worth it. Ooh, gift of knowledge. Gift of resources. Gift of stability. Yeah, I think that'd probably be good to do. At least for our northern, northern neighbors to like us for now. Mmm. Coffee. The, the main problem for me with coffee is that it stains your teeth. So I need some teeth whitening. Oh well. Light Robatos. Where, where did I put these guys? You're next to this cartel over here. Next to El Beltrana Levia. El bandido sangrienento. Yes, I speak so much of Spanish. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, really, the people that don't like us are the Sin Sinaloa cartel. The people I just butchered their name. Everyone south of us. And then these people up here are just kind of like, whatever. What is the Rio Grande up to? Or what is Santa Ana up to, actually? Admiralty reappointment. Mexican arms. Original designs. They went with... Aliva's New Deal, Hard Reset, Protects Small Manufacturers, Dante's Inferno. Darn, they didn't go with uh, the Da Vinci of War? Oh, that's more of so much fun to do. I don't know. I, I, I just said that. I'm not sure if it's true or not. The Rose of Mexico. Cool. 
Uh, what's Santa Ana up to? He's a dirty guy. I don't I don't trust this my son. I don't trust my son. Um building the nest. Rebuilding the nest. He didn't he didn't choose that one. Simple circuitry. Anna's depression. Despair northern rivals. I think he's just waiting for me to die. Just like a normal son would. Wait for your father to die and then take everything he has, right? Right? That's how it works. Ooh, refined tools. Hmm. Nothing really there of interesting. Or of of interest. <clears throat> Better recon. I like that, but I'm not using any support equipment right now. <clears throat> More soft attack. I don't want to help my future enemies out too much. But I don't want to nerf myself to, or not buff myself enough against future enemies either. Ah. Uh, Revy Bean. Oh, Binky's taking a nap now. He likes the floor, and I like the floor as well. The floor is a very nice place, because you know why? The floor will always be there for you, or at least it should. If you don't have the floor, there's something wrong in your house. Or wherever you are. Hmm, really? These don't... None of this really matters, because... I mean, yeah, we can design ship stuff. We can make, I guess, tank stuff, but that really doesn't affect us too much. Employee fitness training. Uh, company speeches, that's what we wanted. I guess, sure, why not? Continue just doing the scavenge for old world tech stuff just so we can boost this up as fast as possible. That would be glorious. Good. And actually, I might just prepare ourselves. Leniers, where are you? I want you to be the first one to get a boost in infrastructure because I want to build some factories there before the war breaks out. You always got to plot how you're going to kill your former brothers. Oh, and there goes twin mothers. Oh, those twin mothers. Pregnant with the with the uh, fury of Kaisar. Warrior training. Pioneer kit. What does this do? Metal armor stuff. Eh, we'll research it. We got time. It's not like anyone's going to kill us, right? Right, guys. Gift of stability. Oh, they. Oh, there they go. Now they're at one. Oh, that's a big war. Something tells me we're going to have to focus on the south before too long. But good. We have a gift of stability. And we'll have a gift of friendship. Let us be friends before I take you over. Now, this is a problem. Look at look at just how Mexico is so divided. I don't know if this is like realistic Mexico geography, because I don't know the geography of Mexico that well. But just look at all the waterways that there is. I know Mexico, more in the southern Mexican part, has a ton of jungles. <clears throat> Obviously, it's right next to uh, Central America. But there's just so much jungle down here. And I don't, I don't know the geography or if these rivers are... These, I suppose these rivers are tr realistic, you know. The, it's very, very hard to maneuver down there, potentially. So, yeah, just... There's a lot of battles going on. I mean, if you want to just play this game on easy mode, just mostly defend, bait the enemy into attacking you. Oh, that's not a lot of stability now. And that's okay. We only have a quarter left of our current memory banks, and that is okay, my friends. That is very much okay. And we're still trying to do stuff. NCR Rangers, join the NCR. Well, I couldn't... S I'm not going to say that's not surprising if the NCR Rangers join the NCR. Everyone should expect that. Low caliber ammunition. Nice. Um, mm, vehicles. I don't think I need vehicles yet. We're doing well with land doctrine. I don't want to do this stuff because I don't want to help my potential enemies. Specialized warfare. I think that would be okay to do. Since that doesn't really give you any immediate buffs or anything like that. It's August 2278. How many... Oh, I don't want to use planes because the A... Does the AI even use planes now? I don't know if it does. I guess I could make them. Just in case. We can use them to train right now. Go and come up to 100. Come up to 100. Everybody. Vamanos! Go train yourselves. I don't know what you do, but train yourselves. Don't kill each other, but just train yourselves. Ooh. What's going on down here? Is this a border war? Mojave chapter. The NCR is allied, obviously, with NCR Rangers, but there might be some sort of border war going on near Helios 1. Interesting. Interesting, my friends. Obviously, the Western Brotherhood is still pretty small. She's still alive. Oh, the Bone Pickers are over here. Yeah, the Bone Pickers. Just a few more divisions, and we almost have a new robot army. Ah, uh, time is flying by. Oh, we're still training. Wait, are we? 
train all the way up there. Standardized blueprints, very nice. Get us a little bit more organization, so we don't end up with any sort of debuffs. Oh, there. How did you get over here? Oh, you probably snaked your way all the way around here, and then snaked your way up through here. Uh, or here. Alright. Alright then. Well, whatever. Or you came down here. There's no port down here, though. Ooh, gift of friendship. Very nice. Very nice. The last Petro Chicans. The last vestige of the company, Tlaloc, built to manage because of this certain fondness for the confused and terrorized CEO and his pro pro prophecies about the fourth quarter. Oh no. Is someone getting cut? And let's get a little bit more political power. Because we are very, very popular intellectuals. Zapata, not so much. Moctezuma, he's doing okay. The ruler, well, the ruler is the ruler, we will say. Nice. The great silo, we're building things up. Um, since we're here, let's do that immediately as we're also building this at the same time. That'll be good. Maybe that could help increase the speed of which we are building factories in Linares. Linares. Yes. So, ooh. Actually, they actually did the naval map kind of right. So we have South Texas, the Braxos Corridor, then North Texas, three-state corridor with Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma, but then we have Oklahoma up here. Even though the geography itself is not quite right, because I don't know where Al Hajara is, but I don't think it's in, like, Arkansas or Texas. Mosul is definitely not in Texas, I think. Aleppo. Where is Aleppo? That's an old dead meme joke. And Rob Al Khali. Hmm. Southern Baha. That's Cuba. I think Southern Bahamas is like over here. Oh no, that's just called State 846. Alright then. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Fitness training. Democracy. Hmm. The last Petro Chicans. Very interesting. Ah, uh, so we still get, I think we still get a little bit of daily uh, army XP, right? Yeah, we do. That's good, that's good. More robots. No, you, oh, you come over here, actually. We get the radio, we can listen to some old world tunes. We're gonna put you against Santa Ana, because no one trusts it, my son. Oh, radio detection, actually, nice. Porfiro Diaz. Interesting. Cool, do that, that'd be great. We have an army against Santa Ana. We have an army against these people down here. We have an army against Petro Chico. Send out a search party for those boys that we lost. Very good. And Chichen Itza is not looking good, so we'll probably have to fight Nueva Atlan eventually. They're looking kind of fierce. Under speaker Yesenia Atlanel. Not a lot of manpower, but not bad. Lot, quite a few divisions. Chichen Itzen has quite a bit of manpower and quite a few divisions. Even though their divisions aren't very good, I'll let you know that for now. Led by Tehun Clara Guzman. Hmm. Light exemptions. Alright. And they're on volunteer only. Okay, well that's very interesting. Huh. Alright then. Nice. How's the Viceroy... Vice Royalty? Juan Martin Villacres. Something like that. This honestly looks like it's a portrait from, like, Equestria War, just because of the way it looks. I don't know. Looks kind of interesting. Caps for the Viceroy? Sure, we'll do that, and we will end the episode very, very soon. I just want to get through this as much as possible, just because I really, really want us to get to the breakup and the restoration of our country. That's really what I want to happen as soon as possible, basically. Uh, planes? Ooh. Sure, we'll spend a little bit of that for this. Very good. Obviously, in the next episode, we're already at 21% data banks. We will end up breaking apart our country, unfortunately. But New Vegas has oh, New Vegas has joined the NCR. That's interesting. Oh my goodness! Wow. Holy smokerinos. Um, sure, do that. Uh, anything else here? Roll out technology. Yeah, do that. Give us a little bit more research speed. That's good and stuff. Can't do war economy, obviously. We have to be at war, probably. New Vegas. I does not. I was not expecting them to join the NCR, but now the NCR is looking pretty formidable, actually. They have Desert Rangers. They've got New Vegas. So that's interesting. This will be one heck of a war against Kaisar's Legion if the NCR does not have a civil war, which might happen someday. You never know. So... 
that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. We are very close, or getting ready to break our country apart, unfortunately. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow as we watch Atlan kill off, probably, Chichen Itza. We will see our country be torn apart where we will try to make sure Maximilian gets all the benefit of his father's inheritance. And we might even watch Kaiser might maybe butt heads with the NCR. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, like I said earlier. And maybe join my Discord if you want to say hi or, you know, tell me what you're up to. Thanks for watching, guys.